Welcome to ACT OUT. I'm Eleanor Goldfield, and this is your Tipping Point. And welcome to the scene of yet another creative activism project. In light of recent events, though, well, actually, recently plus a few hundred years, let's start off this week by talking about the race issue. Now, I'll go ahead and say that this upcoming segment is not a how-to on ending racism. This is more about how to recognize it in the first place. And I'd like to dedicate this first message primarily to all of my white viewers. Dear fellow white people, White privilege does not mean that you have lived a gilded lifestyle. It does not presuppose that you are rich or powerful just because you're white. It also does not presuppose that you're racist. It doesn't imply that you've never had a run-in with the cops or they treated you like shit, framed you, played you, or otherwise grossly abused their authority. Eh, just for the fuck of it. White privilege does not mean that you've had it easy. It doesn't mean that you've never had to struggle to get work, to eat, to get an education, health care, etc. This system is vehemently corrupted, so therefore everyone who lives under the system, and by that I mean under the 1%, all of those who live under the system are negatively affected by it. What white privilege does mean is that because you are white, you're less likely to go to prison, be put to death by the state, or be convicted of a crime, particularly if it's a violent crime where the victim is someone of color. White privilege is about the facts. Like the fact that if you're born black or brown, you're less likely to go to college. Very much in part because you had shittier public school districts that were defunded, deprioritized, and, despite laws demanding the contrary, segregated. White privilege is teaching white history while black and brown people act as accessories. It's African American studies as an elective because we just don't have time to cover your history in a class that's required. It's a black woman stereotype that has no white parallel because white women aren't that one-dimensional. It's Black History Month so we can forget about you the other 11 months of the year. It's the statistical fact that there are more cops stationed in low-income neighborhoods of color than white ones. And as these activists brilliantly pointed out, the cops in these neighborhoods aren't taking down elaborate drug rings or piles of murderers and rapists. They're stopping, frisking, and writing tickets for things so ludicrously banal and innocent, like blocking the fucking sidewalk. A made-up crime, but one that is a very real and very frequent infraction in black neighborhoods. In other words, white privilege is systemic. And no, it's not your fault. White privilege does not mean that you should feel guilty for being white. Your guilt will not mitigate the injustice of a corrupt system. What will, though, is your action. Understand that you have a place on the front lines of the race issue. Not because it's your fault, but because the race issue is your issue. In order to unfuck the system, we need more than one group to stand up and fight back. The feminist movement needs more than just women. The First Nation fight needs more than just First Nations. The racist system that kills innocent kids, beats and kills innocent women and men, the rise in vigilante violence, like the burning of five black churches recently, the rise of essentially neo-Nazi politicians and organizations, these trends are not going to dissipate if the only ones to stand up are the ones in the burned churches, the families of those killed. Understanding white privilege is also about understanding your role in the fight for justice. The kind of justice that really is fucking blind, like the statue suggests. It's understanding that white silence is complicity, is violence. It's understanding that the system feeds on what they deem the lowest and then they move up. And somewhere on that fucking rung is you, your family, your friends. Yes, whites are not immune to the horrors of a corrupt and unjust system. And the white privilege buffer grows smaller and smaller with each quiet shrug, each look away. Not my problem, sorry, not today. So to all my white viewers, friends, and people who hate me for a variety of reasons, yes, you have white privilege. And that fact in and of itself should be enough of a reason to stand up. The race issue in this country is very real and very much your problem. So let's act like it and do something. See you on the front lines.